Every coffee needs a lotus. Welcome back to our afternoon session with Sir Ricky Devera, Professor Ricky Devera, a globally renowned Filipino speaker, a, multi a multidiscipline professional who's regarded as the voice and one of the experts globally. Now, what we're, show what we're showing you right now is the slide on Buy Any Hand Act 2020 in partnership with Arriva Academy for and, and Arriva. Academy Foundation, and this is for the benefit of Bayan ng Hai Hai Laguna. We would like you to support our frontliners, and this is a partnership between you and us. On our side, we have been providing you with workshops and seminars and information, valuable information from reliable experts, world-renowned, sought-after global speakers. We've been doing this. This is a series for our cause. It started very early in April, and it's still going on in May, which will last till the end of the month. We're giving it to you generously. It's not, it could have not been possible. It would not have been possible if not for speakers like Sir Ricky Devera. And now that we have given something to you, we don't require you to give something back to us. What we want you is to, to do is to pay it forward by providing you with a platform to do something out of the generosity of your heart and from your pockets, whether it's 100 or 200 pesos or more, God bless you for your generosity. It will help. Whatever amount you give will help families in distress. And the Bayanihan Act 2020 or the Gathering of Heroes 2020 will rightfully channel all your proceeds directly to the people in need. So together, let's show our support to our fellow, fellow Filipinos who are in survival mode during this difficult time of the global health crisis. So, so act now. Let's click and donate. And the higher, the higher being, the supreme being, the source, Allah, God, however you call the higher power, will bless you. So visit our link, http colon slash slash www dot Ariba, and then alam na kita kita natin sa ano. So the donation, the slash donation of ariba.com.ph. So that's the slash donation. We're excited to keep on giving you something, and at the same time, you making a dent in our society. So thank you so much in advance for your generosity. Now, this uh, this time of the program, we would like to acknowledge, sir, and dami mong fans, ha, sir Ricky. We have. We have speakers globally, oh, we have participants globally. We also have participants locally. So we'll call them in an alph alphabetical manner. We have participants from, okay, Aklan, Alaminos, Antipolo, Bacolod, 
Baguio, Batangas, Bulacan, Cagayan, Cavite, Cebu City, Davao City, Davao del Sur, Dumaguete City, General Santos City, Iloilo City, Isabela, La Union, Laguna, Lapu-Lapu, Digao City, Albay, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Quezon Province, Rizal Province, and Tarlac. Thank you so much for letting us into your virtual living rooms and study rooms. So, and then we have someone from Spain. Yes. Thank you so much. Now, Sir Ricky, can we proceed now to the Q&A portion? Yeah, please do so. Anytime. Okay. Yep. Let's... For your Zoom participants, please type in your question at the Q&A box. And this, uh, will, this will be on a first, first ask, first, uh, well, well, first to be entertained basis. If you want, and we would like to encourage you to press the raise button so we can see your face and hear your voice, so you can virtually be face to face with Sariki. He will answer you and your questions personally. For our F, for our FB Live viewers, our technical team is monitoring your comments. They will be forwarded to me, and if we still have time, and if time will permit, we will be reading your questions. From Henry Simon, to clarify, what are the other two pieces of existing PPP? Uh, okay, well, uh, right. You know, when we talk about PPPs, for me, it's, again, uh, this is the way I look at things. I craft this, you know. But if we were to relate, when you talk about PPPs relative to customer intimacy, I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, you got the policy. You got to take a look at that one. Mm -hmm. uh, then you also have to take a look at your processes. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, uh, you have to take a look at so These are the three PPPs that uh, is going to impact uh, how an organization who decides to be intimate with their selected uh, cost segment should be looking at them. So, Policy, processes, and procedures. And procedures. Thank you so much, Sariki. Though we we find your your audio choppy, but somehow we got it. The policy, processes, and procedures. Procedures, right. Yes. Yeah. Sir, we have a question, present question from Rolando Ignacio. Rolando Ignacio asks this question: how and what approach is best? to start the renegotiation for contract of leases that are due to expire this remaining six months, as management is now suggesting or instructing us to cut on top of the appeal to freeze the stipulated yearly 5% increment, the prevailing rate per month, mainly due to the undeniable and tangible economic front brought about by COVID-19. So putting myself on the shoe of the lessor, it's pretty obvious what to expect from them as this crisis, as we have been witnessing so far, has indeed spared no one. Okay. Uh, right now, let's put it this way. Uh, for me, um, because we're talking here of negotiations, okay? mm -hmm. and uh, just in case uh, people would like to know, Negotiation for me is a very sensitive matter because you don't need to negotiate if what you want, somebody else will agree on. Okay. There's no need to negotiate. That's what was shared to us when I was uh, uh, invited to become a scholar of the government in a negotiation forum abroad. You don't negotiate if there is already an agreement. But the thing is this one. Uh, if that is the case, therefore, and the question is, when should I negotiate? I would say, before we negotiate, let us therefore go into that period of sensing. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, remember, uh, things are now under a new normal and it's still unfolding. In other words, hindi pa card in stone talaga. What are the new regulations relative to rentals and leasing? What is the, the government... Uh, you know, regulation relative to giving them the higher tools. Ano pa yan eh? Work in progress. It's a work in progress. It, you know, it is easier 
to actually negotiate kung parong klaro na what are the rules of engagement. Okay. Okay. Very important yan eh. Pero right now, the rules of engagement are still for me like fluid eh. The, the government is still working on the modified, etc. Although there are certain uh, elements already, but it depends clear. Number, therefore, what will I do? Will I just stay? No. Uh, in preparation for a negotiation, what I will do from a behavioral standpoint, ito, uh, not from a business standpoint, because from a business standpoint, go and discuss already the contract. Uh, for me, uh, and I'd like to share this. Pananaw ko lang po ito. This pandemic, this thing that has happened to us, for me, my my belief, it is not a mental issue. Okay, it's not an intellectual issue. It's a psychological issue. Maraming tinamaan dito, eh. and most Filipinos are here. Eh. So if you're gonna approach this from here, when the situation is from here, there will be a disconsonance. I would rather, since pinag-uusapan ko rin naman dito, customer intimacy or how well, yes, I would sir. rather take a look at it from the point of view of the customer. Intimacy kasi is point of view of customer, not point of view of the business. So I'll take a look at it from the point of view of the customer. What are the angst? What are the concerns? What are the you know uh, issues in the mind of my... And every every tenant will have their own. Eh. Ang tawag namin dyan, every tenant will have their own personality dimensions. So, hindi ito something like, I, I'm going to talk to 10 and this is what's going to happen. No. This is the time you are become sensitive. This is the time that you really have to understand mm -hmm. the individuality. And individuality is a behavioral terminology of people that you're going to talk to. Kasi, kontrata yan eh. And then, lay the groundwork in terms of sensing. This will help you now moving towards preparing what needs to be negotiated and what needs not to be negotiated. So that's how I would like to put it. Uh, from a, If that person would like to get more about this, then we can always say, okay, let's take a look at the following questions that will identify the individuality of every tenant. Meron, talag, meron ganyang diagnostic tool. But for the meantime, that's what I recommend. Uh, negotiation for me, most important is before the negotiation, preparation. And that's what I am advising right now. Uh, and the, and the best part of your advice, Ricky, is the, the word sense. Sense. Uh, some, some speakers would say think. Some would say feel. But you always say sense. Have a sense of. So that's, your, that's my favorite word that you use. You're very, you're you're very. Uh, no, you you catch yeah. You you've heard me already. Perceptive, you know. Whenever I talk, it's about. Uh, because from me, your five senses has to work in harmony, uh, for for this kind of a situation. I agree. Thank you, sir. We have a Zoom live question from Jenny Lynn Cabal, or Cabal. Miss Jenny Lynn Cabal, are you here? Already in the room. We can faintly hear her voice, but we'd like to see you, and hopefully we will hear you clearly. Ms. Janeline Cabal, hello. So in the meantime, as we are as our Henry Simon, what is the best way to get interdepartment buy-in and management support? for the shift to a customer intimacy mindset, considering the realities of the working environment. Okay, now, now, can, I, can I answer that first before uh, before we get back generally or not? Okay, this is my, it's, I'll, I'll, I'll answer it straightforward because that has also been posed to me by many in this kind of a situation. How do we get our different departments to agree on certain uh, directions moving forward. Uh, my my uh, answer or my, res my response to that is an advice, not a suggestion even. Uh, advice means to say we've we've read about it or we've heard about it, and then we implemented it and we found it's more meaningful. 
uh, at this point in time, since we are on a lockdown, okay, wherein we have more than enough time to think, that's also something I'd like to share to many. You know? uh, there are people who are, we are in a lockdown, we are all in a work from home, and we're asking people to think fast. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong here. But talking as a behavioral psychologist, I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. Why? If a person was in a workplace and you ask him to think fast, okay, sa akin yun. Because he is in his natural element, workplace. Mm -hmm. But you're getting people in work from home. And I don't know how many of you are finding it a little bit unique that your children are there, your wife is there, etc. And you're being asked by, again, uh, for the managers, this, this is my thought. You're telling your people, oh no, think fast, ano bang gagawin natin? Tignan mo na, sir, yung missis ko, gano'n, tapos hindi, hindi ako makalaman. So for me, my take kasi is a little different. Eh? From a behavioral psychology point of view, sa akin, this is the time to get your people to go through what I call a reflection stage. Reflection, yes, because you got to also understand if you want people to support you, you have to put yourself in their shoe. Where are your people right now? They're at home. Who surrounds them? It's not their co-workers. So for me, that's very critical. We, What we do, we go through what we call uh, reflection sessions. These are sessions online uh, uh, to the department manager, to the supervisors, so that they get to understand, therefore, uh, what really is their purpose moving forward. After the reflection session, then you can bring them now to the interaction session, which is what? Okay, now, mas naintindihan ninyo na, nag-reflect na kayo. And then we also do some mindfulness. So I, I know it's not something that you are familiar with because I guess everybody wants action, but this is where I'm coming from. Please do not be misled. The situation today is different because people are on work from home. It is still different. Even if we say it's remote, it's still work from home. So for me, relate first. Reflect. Get in touch. We can help you. You're at Arriva, we can help you to get your people first to go and reflect. There's an online reflection model. And then after that, after the reflection, then we bring you to mindfulness. And then mag usap, -usap tayo. I tell you, the response of your people afterwards must open na sila on that side. Thank you, Sir Ricky. Now we're venturing into the spiritual side of our <laughs> DA. That's a good thing. You, are, you really are a multidisciplined professor. So thank you, Sir <laughs> Ricky. Yeah, right. Yeah. Baka talaga ha, pwede kang maging pare, imam, pwede kang maging <laughs> a minister, pwede kang maging grabe, ang galing. Or, Sir Ricky, yeah, well, I know yeah. Ni yeah. Yes, anonymous please, attendee, please. sir. Uh, Mr. Devera, in your analysis, which company is making the greatest advancements in the sales industry to be customer centric? And what are they doing? Uh, you know, that's not an easy question, to be honest about it. Mm -hmm. Because if we're talking about in today's pandemic times, okay, that's going to be very challenging because. There has been no final research done yet mm -hmm. about the success of the companies. I would say there are many companies now who have taken the shift mm -hmm. to become intimate. Uh, though, of course, for me, it should have been done even earlier. Again, uh, let me just put it into perspective. If you became customer intimate, meaning to say you go, you went in live already, even before mm -hmm. the pandemic, you probably have less concerns today. Mm -hmm. You'll have less concerns today. What we are seeing now, what we are sensing now is that a, a number of companies now are saying, Tech, I, we never thought about that. Let's do it now. So I mean, let me just make it very clear. Huh? If you decide to do now customer intimacy, that is now called catching up. Catching up. In other words, hindi sanay ang customers nyo on the intimacy. Yeah. Sanay sila on the servicing. Sanay sila on the servicing. Uh, so... If you decide to do it now, fine. I still welcome you on the customer intimacy. But remember, you got to get those challenges in order. Okay. Now, with regards to uh, are there companies now, because of the pandemic, they've become more, I would say, yes, there are, but we still have to wait for the final results, whether 
they have really been appreciated by the market. Kasi sa akin, a result is not just what I implemented, mm -hmm. but it is also what the market have said. Eh. So there are, there are quite uh, a number of companies who have now shifted into that one. But if you'd like to ask, in, in, if we were to give uh, appreciation, na, ano ba yung kailangan ng isang company the, to be able to implement an intimacy? I would say the companies now that are embracing social media, but we need to rationalize also social media. Huh? Because I know there are many companies now who are saying, let's go online, let's go social media, let's be all over. You are not being intimate by doing that. Because intimacy means to say, let us go deeper to understand. When you start saying, we got to be here, we got to be here, we got to be here, you're not being intimate. You would like to create awareness. Iba po yon. Iba po yon. Mm -hmm. Intimacy is not about being everywhere. It is about being clear on who we want to create intimacy and then bring it to that level of transparency, be, bring it to that level of openness. So I would say there are, there are companies who are not being or propagating themselves today uh, through commercialization, but they are more intimate because intimacy is not about being everywhere. It is about connecting closer. I would say if you are in financial services abroad, uh, there is already the certain intimacy in, in, in some financial services. Lalo na if you are, let's say, your market is the high network. Yung bang ma malaki yung bibigay nila, you have to be intimate with them. Yes. You know, right? Data privacy. You cannot tell the market that I'm servicing these people. Hmm. That is intimacy. So may dimension yan eh. And uh, it's not what you will see in terms of fast moving goods. No, it's, it's sometimes very challenging to be intimate in fast moving goods. I'm not saying you cannot. But what you can do is to become selective in the market of fast moving goods who you would like to create intimacy. Thank oh, you, well. Sir Ricky. That's my answer. Okay, thank you for that answer, Sir Ricky. Feedback, Sir Ricky, it goes, this, it, the same goes with personal and romantic relationship. Intimacy, passion, and obsession. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that's another, that's another webinar. Uh, <laughs> if you can host that, or if you yeah, can do well, that, or we'll have Margie I, I, Holmes, or you, you can do a tandem, you I, and Margie I, I Holmes. Can, I can do a tandem with her as well on, on uh -oh. that side. You, uh, I call it, <laughs> ano, ako, ano, sabi ko, uh, anxiety in relationships. Nako. Intimacy, we can, we can, passion, and obsession. Oh, you might get, gali, oh, oh, it goes deeper, huh? Oh, oh go in your answer, Ricky. Huh? Okay, we have, uh, we have a feedback from the YouTube live stream, sir, from Alex Arellion. Hello. Thank you, Ariva Academy. I really love your program. Why? Because you are helping the personal and professional growth of many OFWs. More power and regards to Ma'am Irish and Sir Howell. So thank you daw po, Sir Ricky. From Alex Arellon, OFW, ayan. Oh, our modern yeah. day heroes. So heroes, correct, right? Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we, uh, we need to support them. We need to support them. And, uh, that's very interesting hearing from them as well. So kailan daw, Sir Ricky, yung tandem no, ni Dr. Margie Holmes? Oh, oh sige. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, just tell me when this get... Yeah, I feel that's very interesting. Uh, yung, uh, <laughs> kasi when I said... You have to go below, below the line. Oh, yeah, deep dive, no? Deep dive? Uh, iba na yun, eh, di ba? Oh. Yung pa, yung, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you want to put more, akin lang, uh, if you want to put more excitement in a relationship, yeah, ito yeah. na, uh, you got to go, you know, <laughs> Oh, oh, hindi na pwede yung hi, hello, mm -hmm. yan na naman ang pagkain. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Teka, wala, pero na, I noticed there are some people chatting. Sige, sir, sige, sir. Then, may mga nagchat-chat. Kailan, kailan nga daw? O, kailan daw? Mag-advance mag sila registration. Uh -huh. uh, sir, grabe. 4.35 na. Until ilang wow. question pa ang kaya mo, sir? Kasi it's already uh, maybe, 4.35. How many more questions? Let's see. Maybe okay. three more. Defense, three. Okay, yeah. okay. So from anonymo, one anonymous sa Tenby. Sir, uh, during the pandemic, all companies have concerns on cash flow. As we cannot extend credit terms to customers anymore during this time, 
can you give us some advice in balancing customer intimacy and our company's survival? Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I agree. During these times, cash flow becomes an issue because it's limited, yeah, and you need to replenish that on a regular basis. That is the reason mm -hmm. why. What is uh, what do organizations do, particularly the finance? If you have a finance person in your organization, the first thing that they do is to take a look at their costs and their expenses, right? Because you're talking of cash flow, that's liquid. Okay, but this is very important. Eh? The first thing that you do is you would like to therefore have at least a healthy, uh, if I were to call it a healthy buffer. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that would mean to say, first thing that we do, what are the costs that we should stop? What are the expenses that we probably should become mm -hmm. more selective? Very clear, ako dyan, ah. I think mm -hmm. cost for me is an investment. Mm -hmm. So what are the costs we should stop for the meantime? Di ba? And what are the expenses we should rationalize? Pag nag-rationalize ka ng expenses, then that means to say either you minimize the usage para mas konti ang billing sa'yo no utility company. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But then, that's not enough. Di ba? Ang usapan pa rin dyan is uh, pa paano naman yung mga pinautang ko? Okay, for example, di ba? Uh, yes, yeah, clearly, you got to be a bit more, if I were to call it sensitive here, mm -hmm. because they themselves might have difficulty in the repaying. Let, let's put it this way. Uh, the, the, my mindset is more in terms of this. Uh, people would like to settle their debts. It is, however, now an issue of priority of what to settle. Mm -hmm. okay? So people have to settle, would like to settle their debts. It's it's a question of priority. So that is where papasok ngayon yung tinatawag ko strategies now in collections and receivables yeah. on that side. Uh, and that one is very important because I remember in the past, before this pandemic, that's one of the programs I've been running for the last 15 years, collections and receivables. Mm -hmm. But you know what's yeah. interesting is I realized uh, you have to continue doing that, but I have crafted a new one now which is called collections and receivable in the new normal. So that's very interesting. I'll tell you, those that we have shared that already with, nagugulat sila, sir, hindi pa nga namin sinisingil, nabayad na. Galing, no? Imagine that mm -hmm. in this kind of a situation. Galing, but then galing. again, that's a different story. For the yes. meantime, this is where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. If you would like to, therefore, manage a buffer on your cash flow, then one, of course, is take a look at your costs. Another one, take a look at your expenses. Another mm -hmm. one is this one. Uh, government agencies, for example, like DTI, they have already put up funding okay, to support entrepreneurs, yung mga micro and small. So you can also, kasi di ba, ang tanong dyan, kailangan ko ng buffer. Gusto kong, mag, mag, uh, gusto kong i-continue ang aking business, kailangan ko ng pondo. So government is there. You'll have to get in touch with them, but they have already announced that. Number two is, of course, and I'm happy, our financial institutions has already been mandated to give what is called a holiday in terms of loan payments. Okay, So, ang kailangan lang kasi mag-reach out ka. You know, for me, what is very important here is if you're the business owner, uh, you have to reach out. Okay, yes. You do not do not be closeted. Mm -hmm. You have to reach out to people that you feel you are obliged to and find out an amicable compromise. Hindi settlement, ah, compromise. Because what you're trying to do here is, for the meantime, paano ko po itatawid ito? Yes. And, and so that's where I'm coming from. There are quite a number of avenues you can look at, ako, I'm saying this also because from a business side naman, mm -hmm. I'm very much involved with government agencies and the business yeah. sector. From a psychology side, dyan pumapasok yung, you have to also mm -hmm. become behaviorally, you know, uh, open to your obligations and then uh, manage it from that perspective. Thank you, Sir Ricky. Now we have, well, I think it's an affirmation from Miss Irish Malona Samson. Sir Ricky, Sked na na po natin yan. Yung deep diving in intimacy, uh, uh -huh. passion, and obsession with Dr. Margie Holmes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sked na natin yan. Yeah, yeah. Interesting yan. Interesting yan. Oh, sure. oh, grabe. Sure. Sir, yeah, grabe. Right. One last question na lang po. Okay lang po ba? 
Okay, sige, we can do that one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sir, last na to, from Jeng Domingo. Sir, is it a good jump start to ride with the mobile markets now? Okay, let um again, this is my answer to it. Mm -hmm. Mobile or mobility for me is not a business. Because people are saying, "Oh, let's go mobile. Let's make it a business." For me, uh, from a for me uh, as a business advisor, mobility or mobile is not a business. It mm -hmm. is a platform. It is a platform because what I'm seeing now and what we are guiding a number of business entrepreneurs and even mm -hmm. multinationals, for that matter, no. Is that okay? That, what is your business? I'm into the service. I'm into product. I'm into processing, etc. Now the question is this one: How will we connect to the market? So before it was face to face. Now what we're saying: No, you got to go face to face. Yeah, but because of social distancing, we got to go mobi mobile. Mm -hmm. So mobility for me, for me lang, ha, is mm -hmm. not a business. Okay. It is a platform. Now mm -hmm. if somebody says. But I want to now start selling mobile phones. And then that's a business. Oh, okay. So we have to be clear. When we use the word mobility or mobile, what are we trying to say there? And however, that's the reason why I love dictionaries. Mm -hmm. I don't like so much uh, synonyms. Because mm -hmm. synonyms, they make words similar. Uh -huh. lang yan, di ba? Pero mm -hmm. if you notice the way I was explaining, kind of different. Sabi ko, teka muna. Pag sinay mong, mo, should we make it should we join the business bandwagon of mobility? Hmm. Ang tanong ko, teka muna. Sa dictionary kasi, pag sinayin mobility or mobile, maraming definition. Hmm. So, and that's just something I also like to share. From a psychology point of view naman, ha, when people ask me a question, I always tend to say, kung hindi ko talaga makuha, tinatanong ko, ano ang ibig mong sabihin ng word hmm. na ginamit mo? That's kasi ang tawag ko dyan, miscommunication eh. Baka sabutin ko, hindi naman pa yun ang definition mo. Yeah. That's why for me, my definition is mobility as a platform for businesses. But yes. uh, mobile business as a carrier of loads and cell mm -hmm. phone, that's a different story to do mm -hmm. altogether. Now, third, I want to go into the mobile business per se. Mobile phones, etc. Mm -hmm. Yes, because technology is one of the industries that we see outside of health huh, that is really now getting to be a game changer hindi ka makakamali diyan sa dalawa na yan and uh, you know uh, i wish the best to whoever or miss all Cheng, our viewers domingo to, yes yes oh, oh miss Cheng, if you'd like to please uh, yes if it's a business fine if not a business a platform mm -hmm. yes also a platform for doing the business for doing the business okay, that's where and i i share a number of this things as well also in uh, you know in my fb page you want sneak it lang yan ano yung Ricky Rivera mm -hmm. MBA CSP to support people to okay. support kasi minsan kailangan natin inspiration para ako din eh i follow howells uh, page to get support every ako rin di ba i also ako need, rin now uh, it's a mutual uh, admiration club sir oh, oh. i tell you ladies and gentlemen yung mga katulad namin ni howell we also need to be inspired with our you know by others and you know mm. we relate with each other and i feel that's we something from that's each very other. important mm -hmm. yeah we don't thank know you everything. sir ricky thank you howell thank you sir ricky ito yung yes. ating best in attendance awardee all throughout oh, the please. webinar miss lizzie sakurum flores ito oh, every yeah. every webinar to ha lagi siyang bumabate ala ang galing niyang mag mag uh, catch ng mga mga quotable quotes so from from um, Lizzie Flores and uh, Sir Earl Flores, thank you so much, Arriva Academy and Arriva Events. The rest of Arriva team, Sir Howell, Bima Balat, and Professor Ricky Devera. Ayan, marami salamat po. So, Sir Ricky, one last minute. Take away what you want us to ponder on for the rest of the day as we okay. prepare our dinner. Right. Uh, my, take, my takeaway to everybody is this one. Um, my good friends, when we talk about our relationships with customers not only that i would even apply it to family members okay mm -hmm. uh there has to be a realization of being able to put more meaning to a relationship so whether it's family members with management even with clients and mm -hmm. that's where i'd like you to please ponder and reflect on would you want your relationship to be 
just above the line, which means to say acquire and serve and serve and serve. You know, even if you say excite, for me, excite, sometimes it's still above the line. Okay. Uh, or would you want to now start saying, I want to go below the line. I want to go deep dive. I want to put more meaning. I want to put more intimacy into it. I want to put more passion. I want to put more obsession. Okay. And if your answer there is, yes, I want to do that, then let us not anymore, uh, you know, let us not think of when. Let us already start talking about how. Because the way I sense it is this pandemic, the, a situation like a pandemic, do we need to wait for another pandemic before we become more intimate? Because pandemics will always happen. And uh, if we are able to realize that, therefore, let us become more conscious, let us be more prepared, but the battle is not going to be easy because marami kayong challenges when you want to bring it to intimacy. There will always be a lot of people who will say, no, don't, don't, don't. But then at the end of the day, why? That's where I'm coming. That's where I'm coming. Bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, Sir Ricky Devera. You still have a couple of webinars lined up. We're looking forward yep. to hearing yep. from you more. And of course, what's cooking is a tandem between you and Dr. Margie Holmes. So we're looking oh, forward to that. It. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Sir Ricky. And uh, as Sir Ricky fades out of the screen, let's give him a big, big hand, everyone. Ayan, applause, clap, clap, clap. Thank yous and thank yous. A lot of thank yous and, and messages of gratitude. Thank you so much. And now let's welcome back on screen, Miss Irish Malonda Samson, our dear president. Hello, Miss Irish. I'm Ayan. back. Thank you so much, Sir Ricky. That was really a wonderful session full of mm -hmm. insights on um, customer intimacy. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for always supporting Arriva Academy. Sir Howell. My takeaway? Yes. It's the tandem between uh, Sir Ricky. <laughs> Excited na ako dun, huh? Sir Ricky and Dr. Margie Holmes, behavioral psychologist and, of course, psychiatrist coming together. I'm sure Arriva Academy can make it possible. I love the dive deeper or deep diving with. Deep diving. Deep diving with. So, intimacy, na kita natin somehow. And then looking forward to passion and looking forward to obsession. That's my takeaway. What about you, Ms. Iris? Uh, what struck me most is, of course, creating value. So mm -hmm. the strategies and in, 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 initiatives on customer in, intimacy was shared by Sariki, mm -hmm. yeah. drive on feedback, touch point analysis. Yeah. The quotes that um, Sariki shared, I have realized that it is not hard work that drives success, but meaningful endeavors that drive results so well it's listening to sir Ricky only validates that um we as a company arriva academy is really on our right path that's right because of course we're one of the industries that was uh greatly affected mm -hmm. we're on trainings and seminars mm -hmm. but apparently it's our culture to think of our customers first. Yes. So when this pandemic comes, we we came up, we we thought of what will the clients do without mm -hmm. trainings and seminars. Yeah. So we came up with e-learning sessions. So this is our corporate social responsibility to give back to our clients. That's right. To our clients who are attending our seminars and trainings. But apparently it's not only giving back to our clients, but to our society as well. And not only within the Philippines, but overseas. And with that, thank you so much for giving this opportunity to us. Thank you as well to our um, partner speakers, to our international um, and local subject matter experts, who is always supporting Arriva in this endeavor. And to also to our participants who always watch and um learn and, and join in our e-learning sessions. With that, in behalf of Arriva Academy, we are thankful and we are grateful to you. Salamat po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you as well, Sir Howell, for moderating our session. Always a pleasure. You Every know that. day. Salute to you, sir. Oh, oh. I'll be seeing you on Friday. 
On Friday, see yes. you on Friday. Is it a morning and afternoon session or just one yes. session? See you on Friday, a.m. and p.m. And I will miss you all for a day. Don't go away. May message pa si Miss Irish. Yes. For those of you who, uh, this is not yet the end of our e-learning session. I have some announcements to make and up, up, upcoming learning programs to announce. Okay. At first, we would like to thank our following win-win partners that makes this e-learning session possible. We would like to thank our official media partner, Art Plus Magazine. Our digital media partners, Focus Media, Globotronics. Thank you as well to City Advertising Ventures, Outcom, Elevate Media. For win-win partners, thank you to Brother, Faber-Castell, Glutasi, Moringa O2. Thank you to KFC, Mr. Donut, Tokyo Tokyo, and Lotus Bisco. Boss Job. Thank you, Sir Technology Inc. Finma Properties, Salary Jet, Ilawi Korea, Kittleson and Carpo Consulting, Enchanted Kingdom, This Purse, Cosmotech Philippines Inc. My Chums Virtual Preschool Program. To register, please call them at 09 09064860710. Or email them at disakanabe at mindchumps.org. And if you want to place your ads here, advertise your company, have a brand exposure to thousands of viewers through FB, Zoom, LinkedIn, and Facebook, please email us at marketing at arriva.com.ph. Again, it's marketing at arriva.com.ph. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. It's Arriva Academy Philippines Inc. Facebook page, please scan this QR code. This will be directed to our Facebook page. Please don't forget to like us. And if you missed the e-learning session uh, with Mr. Ricky Devera and the, uh, the previous e-learning sessions that we have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks and click on the bell button. So don't forget, please subscribe Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. For our upcoming online learning sessions, to register, please visit our website. It's www.ariva.com.ph. We would like to invite you on our HR Virtual Summit PH 2020 Bounce Back HR, Sharpen the Resilience for the New Normal World of Work. This is a live webinar series for our course, and we have invited international and local subject matter experts to share with us their wisdom in HR field. We would like to invite you on our e-learning masterclass. This will be tomorrow, leading a work from home workforce, how to manage and develop remote teams. May 14, don't forget, 4 to 6 p.m. And this will be this will be discussed by none other than the Asia's millennial guru, Mr. Jonathan Yabu. Another live webinar series for our cause, find your voice of resiliency so that you lead with confidence. This will be on Friday morning. May 15, Friday, 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. And we have invited Mr. Paul Larson from United States. Okay. Reinventing yourself in time of quarantine. Learn, improve, and pivot. This will be on Monday, May 18, 3 to 4.30 p.m. And we have invited Coach Suzette Shapno to discuss this session. Post-COVID-19, survive, thrive, and scale. This will be on May 19 and will be discussed by none other than Mr. Vishnu Anaparedi from Malaysia. Guide post for the new now uh, for the now of work. This will be on Wednesday, May 20, in the morning, 10:30 to 11:30 in the morning. And this will be discussed. We will be discussed by Mr. Jason Averbo from United States. Okay, another free e-learning session, going beyond coaching, turn to counseling team members in a COVID-19 situation. This will be on Wednesday, May 23 to 4.30 in the afternoon and will be uh, discussed by Professor Ricky Devera. Another live webinar series for a cause, Breakthrough in Times of Crisis, How to Maintain 
a positive state of mind during the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have invited the happy doctor, Dr. Suresh Devdani from Singapore. Another live webinar series for a cause, Streamlined Employee Engagement in the Time of Crisis. This will be on Friday, May 22, and will be discussed by Ms. Mila Pascual Nudosu from Thailand. And if you want to customize an e-learning an e session for your team, for your company, exclusive for your company, you would like to invite Professor Ricky Devera to conduct an e-learning session for your company, please do email me at uh, irish.arivaacademy at gmail.com or call me at 0916-695-4418. And that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Again, this is Irish Malonda Samson. In Arriva, it's all about being better, be safe, and stay home. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.